Hi, I'm Joe with Glassworks, the Hardtop Shop. Today we're going to be looking at hardtop latches from 1956 to 62 model years of the Chevrolet Corvette. I'll be pointing out all the main parts of the latches, and I'll also show you a bit of an imposter. There are consequences for using the wrong latch on your Corvette hardtop, and I'll explain. So here's the five components of a latch. You got your clasp, that hooks onto the top of the windshield assembly. This is the U-bracket, that's basically the hinge point for the whole thing, and that's riveted onto the base plate right here. This is the base plate, and this screws onto the header bar inside the hard top. This is where the rubber meets the road as far as the latch is concerned. Here's your handle, of course, and this is an adjuster plate that fits over the assembly here, and it has grooves on the back so that you can adjust the latches up and down as needed. And here's your finished product. So now that we know all the different parts of the latches, we can take a look and see what might be different on all of these. As you can see here, the most obvious difference is the handle length. If that handle extends past the end of the clasp, like the one on the bottom, it's for some passenger car, and that's incorrect. Once you've determined it's a Corvette latch, you need to check if it's a soft top or a hard top latch. The difference is easiest to see head on. The base plate at the bottom is where you want to focus your attention. You can see that one of these is in something of a V shape on the left, whereas one on the right is wide at one end and then kind of tapers off. This is your hard top latch. This is a soft top latch. For that reason, if you're tightening down your latches and this base plate snaps in half, now you know why. I hope this quick pointer is helping out with some of the questions you might have had about the latches on your Corvette hardtop. Glassworks the hardtop shop. I'm Joe. I'll talk to you next time.